the mighty God of Israel a bit. he truly truly deserves it hallelujah ooh, 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 ooh. I shifted significantly don't bother to look for me in the old address I shifted something happened to my destiny I changed location. When the angel asked, what is my name? And I opened up to the angel. He changed my name from Jacob to Israel. I shifted significantly. Can you just shift, shift, shift? I shifted. You better do prophetic things. <laughs> I shifted. Shift forward. 
I shifted. I shifted significantly. Now, don't go back the way you came. Turn, turn, and walk back. Walk back. I shifted. Give the Lord a big hand. Amen. I don't know if I should, I should say you should sit down or you should stand up because we just want to pray um, before the prophet comes up. Um, maybe you should sit down and bring out your Bible. Welcome to the next level. In this tribe, we shift. First Kings chapter 3. From verse number 16. First Kings chapter 3 from verse number 16. Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said, Oh my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house. And I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered that this woman was delivered also. And we were together. There was no stranger with us in the house save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight <laughs> and took my son from beside me while your handmaid slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give my child suck, Behold, it was dead. But, everybody say, but. but. Let your but be louder than your neighbor's own. But. but when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my child. It was not my son. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I bore, which I did bear. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living is, is my son. And the dead is your son. And this said, no. But the dead is your son. And the living is my son. Thus they spoke before the king. Then said the king of kings. And the lord of lords. This one says, this is my son that liveth. And thy son is dead. And the other said, no, but my son is dead. And my son is the living. And the king of kings and the lord of lords said, bring me a sword. Bring me a word. Get a word. For the word of God is and it pierces. And they brought a word before the king. And the king said, divide the living child in two and give half to the one and half to the other. Then spoke the woman whose the living child was unto the king for her bowels yearned upon her son. And she said, Oh my Lord, give her the living child and in no wise slay it. What the other said, let it be that I might not die. Let's waste. Then the king answered and said, give her the living child. 
Give her what she desires of me. And in no wise slay it. She is the mother indeed. She is the mother indeed. He is the father indeed. She is the owner indeed. Two women came to planet earth and I don't know what happened to them that they eventually became harlots. Do you know what it means to be a harlot? When you become a public property, nobody owns you. Anybody can trample on you. Anybody can sleep with you. Anybody can do with you whatever they like. <laughs> and she said, we were both living in the same house. And before we pray tonight, I want to ask you, who is living in your house? Who lives in the space of your destiny? Who did you invite in? And you don't even know that that person can do you evil. We're going to root them out today in prayers. Whoever is in the place of your destiny, whoever is struggling with you over any matter, whoever is saying, I, I, it won't be mine and it won't be yours, whoever has decided to waste what you have labored over. I've been to the delivery room a few times. You don't even have an idea what a woman goes through in the delivery room. So for a woman to go through delivery, pregnancy, conception, pregnancy and delivery, and then for someone to want to take that child, no. But you know, both of them had the same problem apart from prostitution. Both of them overslept. One slept so much, she killed her child. The other slept so much, they stole her child. Sleep. God bless Bishop for organizing spontaneous to awaken us from our sleep. Some of you, things have been stolen from beside you. Things have been stolen while you were snoring. Your health, your finances, your ministry. Favors have been stolen while you were sleeping. Business ideas stolen while you were sleeping. Wake up. You will not sleep the sleep of death. You know it's in the Bible. You shall not sleep the sleep of death. Both of them slept. And the Bible says, she said, when I woke up, I discovered that my destiny didn't look the way it looked before I slept. When I woke up, I realized that that marriage, when I woke up, I looked at my bank account. When I woke up, I noticed that but when I considered it, consideration is what we are here to do tonight. But when I looked again, but when I took an helicopter view of the situation, I said, no, this is not my life. But they look alike. Both of them are children. Both of them are sons. But when I considered, I said, this is not my child. There are just two prayer points I want to raise. Whatever you want to consider tonight, you want to look at. Look at it very well. Because that may not be your child. That report, that medical report, no. That refusal of visa, no. That 
epileptic prosperity. No. I want you to consider it tonight. No. No, it's dead. That's not your chant. Somebody laid on it and killed it and exchanged yours for theirs. So I want to make you angry tonight and spontaneously I want you to take back whatever was stolen while you were asleep. I want you to consider it. Do you like what you are seeing in your life? Is this all you can become? Consider it. That's why we're here. Are you sure this is how your bank account should look? You know why you have cut it? It's because you assumed. Assumption is the lowest form of knowledge. You assumed that it is normal. When you are 40 or when you are 50, you should be nursing high blood pressure. That's what they said. No! Consider it. You know, when there is recession, you know, COVID happened. And then businesses are struggling. You know, in Nigeria, you know, in Africa, you know, in Adu. You know, you are not living in Lagos. You are living in, not living in Port Harcourt. You know, you know, you know. You know, you are not a graduate. Sure, you understand. You don't have a PhD from Harvard. You know, you know, you don't, you know, you don't qualify for this. Says who? Consider it. Tell your neighbor, consider it. Ah, uh -uh. consider it now. Is this what you want? Is this how you want it to continue? Do you know that no matter how poor a village is, there will still be money lenders? The same Bethlehem Judah where Elkanah, beg your pardon, Elimelech ran away from with his wife, Otunkobaya, when you go. Naomi. Naomi said, call me no more Naomi. Call me Mara. That man implicated his wife. The same Bethlehem Judah that Elimelech ran away from was where Boaz prospered. Same. I said I came here tonight to trouble the water. Before the prophet comes. So you can jump in. Why is it taking you so long? Why would the devil tamper with your child? And you will continue to nurse the child plus the illness? Wake up. That's not your child. Your child is better. The health of your child is better. That's not yours. Consider it. If you are too silent, you will be silenced. When that woman saw the baby, she didn't say, Jesus, let's go and bury. Mm -mm. She spoke. This is not my account. is not what God said. Yes. Because after God has spoken, every other speaker is a late comer. God did not say that I will have high blood pressure. God did not say that because I am moving to 70, sicknesses of evening. Says who? Where is that in the Bible? Moses over 100. 
His strength did not abate. His eyes were not dim. How old are you? And you have accepted this status quo that you must borrow. One of these days I'm going to preach at the possibility ground. I want to explain faith to you. You don't understand faith. And I want to simplify faith. I just got the understanding recently. Faith is not what some of you think. I want to simplify it for you. That every day you will understand how to walk by faith. Very simple. It is very simple. I came here tonight to disrupt your system. How must you beg? Why should your account be lower? than what it was. Why should you serve God and serve God and it doesn't show on you? It is not difficult to be wealthy. Stop believing the lies of the devil. It's not difficult to have money. Stop believing what culture tells you. When I considered it, I saw that this is not my child. What do you want to consider tonight? Whatever you think does not look like what you want. I want to join you as an undertaker to help you bury it and seal it. And then you walk out free tonight. And after you have given the dead child to the owner, you walk home with your living child. Yeah. Now listen, your child is one of the proofs that you ever existed. Inside your, your child is a seed. Only God knows what that child can become. The acorn lies in the oak. That tiny seed. And the other lady that was very familiar with her wanted to eat her future. Then she said, no. I may be a harlot, but I am a wise harlot. I may be a harlot, but I'm a fighter. This dead child is not mine. Give me. And the moment she began to say it, help came. The entire universe is waiting for you to speak it. It will shock you how King Solomon will arise and tell you, give her the child. She's the mother. I'm going to leave you and ask you to pray for five minutes. Any kind of prayers. Whether you're on your knees, whether you are standing, whether I have just given you the curriculum. Look at your life. Any aspect of your life, consider it. And if it is not your child, bury it tonight. And then take back your living child. I don't care whether it's generational. It's been perpetuated by whatever. I do not care. Tonight is the night of consideration. God is waiting to hear your voice. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I'm a child of God. Consider it. Is this how you want your life to continue? What? judgment upon everything that is anti-progress wrestle 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 like we had yesterday wrestle this is the time that area of my life that area of my life I'm considering you 
No, 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 no. That's not my own. No. No. That's not what I labored over. That is not how my life should look like in that aspect. Ah. Are there no people prospering in that area? No, I'm considering it. That's not me. That's not my life. That's not how it should be. That's not what God said. God said, the longer I live, the brighter I will shine. No, no, no to any form of darkness. Financial darkness, ministerial darkness, darkness in hell, disfavor. People forgetting to help me. No, 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 no. No, that's not my child. The dead child is not my child. That's not my life. Are you praying? <laughs> Three more minutes, we are done. I'm not supposed to serve God in vain. The dead is not mine. No, 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 no more. Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. No, no more, no more, no more. The dead child is not mine. How can you be on the same spot? How? Explain to me. How can you be on the same spot? Same, 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 same. You must pray and pray and pray and fast before you can get one million naira. You must bind, 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 bind and lose. No more, no more, no more. Are there no people operating on that level? How old are you? No. You better settle it here tonight. Consider it. Whatever you don't like in your life, bury it, bury it, bury it. I bury it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever is dead in my life that is supposed to be living, I dig your grave and I bury you, I bury you, I bury you, I bury you. The living is my own. The prosperous one is my own. The one that is bringing in more is my own. The one that brings in profit is my own. I don't care what the economy is saying. Ha ha ha. Pray, pray, pray. That's the essence of spontaneous. Two more minutes and we are done. The living is mine. 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 My abo soto lubri gash kante lida raba gas kante cheta la vle kes kafu boko ska. Gata ya boko soto lubri gash kante lika ni gaza da ya boko skete chika ni kara gaza da la vle kes kete ya boko skete lika de kara kes ka. Buga shata ya kata kla kas kato boko skete lo boko skoto. Whatever altar is anti testimony, whatever altar is anti progress, crumble, 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 crumble. One more minute. What killed my parents will not kill me. What stops them in our family will not stop me. It will not come near me. It will touch my children or my grandchildren. I come against it. Whatever landmines the devil has planned. No, that's not my child. That's not. No, 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 no. No more. No more struggling. No more praying, 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 praying without results. No more, no more, no more, no more. I got the greater matter of control. Let Bruce and Kate. Oh, thank you, Lord, for liftings. Thank you for liftings and promotions. Thank you for help. Thank you for breakthroughs that we never imagined. Oh God, give you praise. Give you glory. I magnify you. I tell of your goodness. I speak of your faithfulness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. The name 
of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have prayed. Everybody rise up. We're going to take the second one on our feet. There are different kinds of prayers. There's what we call the prayer of thanksgiving. Just have a pictorial image of how that woman behaved when the king said, take the living child and give to her. That is the picture I want you to keep now and I want you to act out. Carrying your living testimonies in your hands and dancing. For the king has vindicated you. You don't understand what I'm saying. Can you imagine how the other woman was feeling after that judgment? Covered, robed in shame. Can you imagine how that woman carrying her, because she wouldn't have been allowed to leave that dead baby in the palace. Corpses, no. Carry, carry your load. Carry your load. Can you imagine how she carried it and was covered in shame? If I were the other woman while I was dancing, I would do oh, because I was born in a bedroom. I want you to act it out. Carrying your baby, whether on your hand or your back. Mm, so, but it's so, so okay. The living child. I want you to imagine how that business is now growing and say, so this is what they wanted to exchange. You didn't follow anybody here. So don't do any shakara here. The next five minutes, Bishop gave me permission to do what I'm doing here tonight. So the authority of his prophetic grace and I don't want you to miss it. The next five minutes, in fact, prayer of thanksgiving is more serious than any other prayer. It makes God to, to act spontaneously. You will dance, you will sweat. You know, like David danced in 2 Samuel chapter 6. You will do as if you have the baby in your hand. See what they wanted to take. See what low sperm count wanted to take. See what failed IVF wanted to take. See what coronavirus wanted to take. See what high blood pressure plans to take. See what the doctors condemned. <laughs> see, 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 see. Body can do it for you, you do it for yourself. See, see what diabetes wanted to take from me. You will carry it on your hand or on your back or on your shoulders. I want the entire, all these fronts, front of the altar to be filled. Step out and be prophetic about this tonight. It's a prophetic dance. You will thank God very soon when the effect is there. I want one anointed, anointed singer just key into this and take us before the throne of grace. As we give thanks. Hey, Hey, hey. Ah, e 
And for 30 something years, we'll be doing this and preaching. You think something is wrong with us. We're not following cunningly devised fables. We have handled it. We have seen it. We have experienced it. That there is power in the word of God. So when the prophet tells you to dance, and you are doing as if you are the first one to go to the university. What is wrong in you? When professors, professors that mark your thesis are dancing before the Lord and serving him. While you are dancing once in a while, you will do like this to the other woman. I'm not saying the person sitting there. I'm saying that other woman that thought she could steal the baby. We thought that you said on social media. Oh. We told that you should be. You said that we not graduate. Oh. Shabby, Shabby, you said that my spam is low. Were you the one that created it? Oh. See the baby. See the baby. The baby is not dead. We considered it. And we saw that the dead baby, the dead report is not ours. The living is ours. Five more minutes. Carry your baby on your back. Carry your baby on your shoulders. Push, push the, what do you call the, what you push with baby? What do you push, young, young people? Baby cats. Push. Then once in a while, pause and laugh at the other woman that thought. I know me sorrow. Oh, shame, oh, oh, me sorrow.